I started out uh, doing folk and pop and then um, I started taking Arabic singing lessons in the early 90s and then I went to Syria and studied for two months there. I, well, I didn't even start out in Arabic music, but my background is Egyptian and so I can speak Arabic. At first I wasn't interested in it because I just loved doing my folk pop thing. And then I met people who liked that music and also were interested in Greek music and Turkish music. and. I started uh, getting together with musicians like that and um, a few of us founded a group called Mazamize. That was the first world music group I was in that did Arabic and Greek music. And then since then I left that group to pursue my own thing and um, I have an ensemble with my husband. We do all kinds of music, a lot of original music that uses all the different influences. Um, there is a composer from Toronto named Christos Hatsis who does uh, more kind of new music, electroacoustic music, and he heard me do a piece with his wife, Beverly Johnson, who's an amazing percussionist. And when he heard that, he, was, he had just been commissioned to write a piece called Constantinople, and he thought, oh, I have to have her in this piece. And so um, I did that piece and it finally, it actually took many years to premiere because it it's a big electroacoustic multimedia visuals kind of piece. But we just did it in Covent Gardens in England before I went to Egypt in um, March. And uh, we're touring that. For me, it, it seems to be, there seems to be a growing interest as far as I can see, um, just because the world is getting smaller and smaller. I think new things are still always being created. When do drops turn?